on crime? You know, I have just delivered for police a budget of $562 million. Yeah. That takes a lot of uh, negotiation and effort and work, and it means that we believe, as a government, the police need the resources to do the hard mahi which is in front of them. That is a huge amount of money, and we will touch on that, on the fact that you have announced that amount of money for police and general crime. But the question is, are you too soft on crime? Because according to our News Hub Read res uh, research poll, 68% of Kiwis believe you are. Well, that's, uh, you know, I would dispute that. And I would dispute it very strongly because in terms of what uh, I am delivering as police minister, if you compare that to what was delivered under the National Party, you know, 16% more police on the um, streets, which means our people feel safer. Uh, you know, record budgets, uh, $450 million was uh, the budget under the previous police minister in, in Labor, and now I've delivered a budget of $562 million yeah, to really counter what we're seeing in front of us. The thing is, none of that money has been put towards RAM rates. Why is that? Well, we're out of the budget cycle currently. As you know, with the budgets, they're prepared months ahead of time. Uh, this spike is one that is happening right now and we have been able to access the proceeds of Crime Fund but for that. the thing is, Minister, it looks like a knee-jerk reaction that, you know, it's late to be discussing ram raids when it's not a late, you know, it's not something new. It's been happening for a while and it makes you look like you're not across your portfolio. Well, the, uh, I dispute that because in the Waikato, for example, uh, we have Operation Prior that's been running for a few months now. They've made 110 arrests. So the police have been active in this space. What is happening now is we have to deal with the, the problem that our retailers are telling us. We want our small businesses to be able to operate safely. And this is what we're going to announce in the next Speaking few weeks. of small businesses, specifically dairy owners, the ones we've spoken to say that, you know, the government's forgotten about them. It wasn't until ram raids occurred at Louis Vuitton and Gucci stores that the government took notice look, of I, the dairy owners. No, look, I dispute that. And I go back to Operation Prior, which has been operating in the Waikato, where we've had most of the ram raids for some time now. And the arrests that have been made, even at the Ormiston uh, Mall, um, issue that happened a couple of weeks ago. The rests have been made in that. We have been active. What we're saying is what we haven't done is supported the retailers to protect their businesses. And they've had a tough time. COVID's been tough for them. Absolutely. So we're looking to support them to be able to operate Do you want safely. to announce something about that? Well, uh, you know that um, the <laughs> Cabinet Ministers are making the decision on Monday and the announcement will go out uh, after that. OK, well... Not after Cabinet, but after... How many dairy okay. owners have you personally personally gone and seen, especially those ones affected here in Auckland by the rain Well, rates. I've been uh, dealing with Retail New Zealand, which is the... Uh, but dairy the, owners themselves? No, no, I haven't, but I've been dealing with Retail New Zealand, who is a book, the body that looks after, you know, businesses small and, and uh, large. Just yesterday, we were having a conversation about what needs to go in place. Would that change anything for you, though, meeting those people face-to-face -face and having those conversations, seeing the, the, the results of ram raids, you know, these shops torn apart? Absolutely, absolutely. And, I look, I want to be able to support them in a way that's meaningful for them. Can't buy. Police blame parents, national blames the government. You say communities need to resolve the problem. Is everyone just passing the buck here? No, I think there is an and 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 here. Police are at the end of the problem. They pick up the pieces. But in order for us to kind of get ahead of this, we need to deal with the drivers. And there's no doubt that communities have a real role to play in that. So do other government agencies. And I have to say that, you know, looking at this specific issue, we've taken two tranches. How do we support our re retailers to be safe? But how do we also support our tamariki to thrive, our children to thrive, so that they're not engaged in criminal activity? And that's a piece of work that we will have a couple of ministers co-lead. Kampai, as part of the half a billion dollar announcement you made this week, tactical response teams are now being rolled out across the country. Are you comfortable with police having access to fire? Firearms? They need firearms to do their job. Are you because, comfortable with that? Uh, yes, of course I am, because they need to have uh, firearms to do their work. They are operating in a very dynamic 
uh, uh, environment where um, gangs and organised crime is much more overt and sophisticated, particularly with the presentation of firearms. The thing is, we trialled armed, armed response teams here in Aotearoa and scrapped them because they didn't work. What's the difference now? The difference is quite... It's not subtle, it's very big. We went to the community and um, at, the, at the time the arm um, uh, response teams were problematic and said, what is it about this? There were a couple of things. The, the fact that they uh, were very overt in the community, not branded police. This is a police branded uh, uh, initiative where they will be on shift, they will be you know, they will look like every... Training-wise, though, yep. training-wise, how will can be the community look... feel safe with police officers walking around? Well, they not... won't be walking around. They will be deployed using the best intelligence possible for the most significant events. They will be armed, but they will be trained to AOS You and standards. I both know, Minister, armed response teams disproportionately targeted Māori and were mostly used right. for traffic stops. Right. Rawiri Waititi from Te Pāti Māori says this move will see more Māori shot at dead in the streets. Is this is true? not armed response. This is tactical response to keep police safe and to send the best trained people into the most significant but why situations. But more Māori at risk? Look, the police are very clear that they need to have a better response to Māori. And I, you know, I point to the work that they are doing with um, Kim Workman, the research which will look at why um, police stop Māori why they question them and why they arrest them in disproportionate number to everyone else. You know, I have a lot of uh, personal skin in, the, in this game because I don't want for Māori or Pacific young people to enter the criminal justice system uh, inadvertently. We need to get ahead of all of this. Nor and targeted unfairly. Abs well, it, but, you know, there are ways that the police can uh, deal with this. That Kim Workman's piece of work is one. Um, making sure that our police reflect and look like the communities they serve is another. And I point to, uh, in a couple of months' time, the mana wahine wing of graduates who are coming through police college. Uh, Māori and Pacific are entering police in numbers like we've never seen before. And Māori women are, have a, a strength um, that they bring, and we have a wing that is, um, you know, that's going to have so many Māori in it, okay. that they will be the face that pushes a lot of, um, uh, you know, you populate uh, the police with your, you know, your views and your tikanga because of what you bring to the to the service. And I'm totally cool. yeah. uh, Minister, you're also committing to more police officers, one for every 500 Kiwis, is that correct? What makes, what makes you think you can reach that target when we still don't have the numbers, the extra 1,800 officers Labour promised in 2017? Well, we're up to about 1,400 and we'll reach the 1,800 by the end of the year. That's six months ahead of target. We actually have been proactively uh, recruiting. We're at now um, one police officer for every 480. So we've beaten the 500 and we've committed to stay at that level uh, because we know that more police, more visibility means people feel safer. And we need people in the police to do the mahi. Ete Minita, thank you so much for making yourself available and joining us here on News Hub Nation. Tēnā if you've got a news tip, get in touch. We're on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram or flick us an email, nation 